probably the period between 1892 and the First World War, during which approximately 12 million immigrants entered the USA, can be considered as the most important in American history. After reading numerous comments on the YouTube videos that deal with this topic, it is not the most popular subject on the curriculum. One of the reasons could be that the available poor quality film footage makes it difficult to associate with the ordeals that immigrants experienced. Therefore, this restored and colorized film is an attempt to bring these historic events better into perspective and thus become more appealing to be viewed through today's eyes. It is important to understand why people wanted to become American citizens more than a century ago, especially in view of the fact that there is a 40% chance that one of these immigrants was your great-great-grandfather or mother. What drove them to undertake such a dangerous journey that would also totally change their lives? The answer is fairly simple. Poverty, hardship, joblessness and persecution were widespread in Europe around 1900. In Eastern Europe, young men were being drafted for compulsory conscription. Life, especially in Southern and Eastern European countries like Italy, Poland, Czechoslovakia, Russia, Romania and others was hard. The USA was thought to be the land of the future, with huge potential for a better life, maybe even the possibility to become rich. In fact, this is when and where the American dream started. Immigrants would sell all their belongings before starting on their long journey. All they would be able to take with them was a bundle of clothes and maybe a suitcase with other belongings, plus their meager life savings. They would first of all have to say farewell to their remaining beloved family and friends, and then undertake an often very long journey to a port like Hamburg in Germany, where they could board a ship to America. A crossing would cost approximately 30 US dollars in third class steerage, 50 US dollars for second class and at least 90 US dollars for first class.
Depending on the weather, they would spend one to three weeks at sea before catching their first glimpse of New York's skyscrapers and the Statue of Liberty. For many, that was the best and most wonderful experience in their life. On arrival, first-class passengers were medically examined on board of the ocean liner and allowed to immediately enter the USA if found to be fit enough. However, the majority of second and steerage class immigrants were taken by small ships to the infamous Ellis Island, just two miles south of Manhattan, where the cumbersome procedure to hopefully become an American citizen would start. On arrival at Ellis Island, the immigrants would undergo a thorough medical checkup as well as identity checks. Doctors would only have about 30 seconds to judge the health of each individual. This in fact was the most crucial stage in the formal procedure in order to be allowed to enter the USA. Those who were deemed to be not fit enough on arrival either faced the dreadful decision to be deported back to their country of origin or to be admitted to Ellis Island's hospital to undergo medical treatment in the expectation that the cure for the illness would be possible. Just try to imagine what this ordeal was like. After having disembarked the small vessels that took the immigrants to the island, they were letting huge groups into the building, where one of the first things to do was to hand over the luggage for storage in the baggage room during the immigration procedure. All immigrants were subsequently led up the stairs to the huge registry hall, not knowing that they were being observed from the second floor by medical officials who would pick out sickly looking or disabled persons. Once at the top of the stairs, such individuals would be marked with chalk symbols on their clothes in preparation of further medical examinations. Occasionally, heartbreaking scenes could be witnessed when some immigrants were denied access to the USA. In later years, the criteria for entering the USA got tougher. There was more focus on the mental state of immigrants and more people were being turned away for reasons of being feeble-minded. This fate especially fell to children. The theory of eugenics was gaining terrain, claiming that the American gene pool was being diluted by the newcomers.
The hospital was state-of-the-art for that time and operations were carried out under the strictest hygiene precautions. Doctors wore gloves at all times. Instruments were meticulously sterilized and patients slept in clean beds that were frequently fumigated. After having successfully passed the medical examinations, the immigrants had to queue up and wait in front of rows of desks before being administratively inspected for having the right papers by government officials. This process took only a couple of minutes, during which the immigrants had to answer no less than 29 questions. Once the medical examination and registration ordeal was over, the immigrants were free to take a ferry back to the mainland. There was a flourishing trade on the island, whereby immigrants could buy food and goods for their stay in the USA at attractive prices. The goods that they bought were packed in cardboard boxes, as can be seen here. Most immigrants were allowed access to the USA. Only 2% were turned away for medical reasons or criminal past. To many immigrants, the USA did not turn out quite as the land of milk and honey as they initially expected. For working class immigrants, life was hard, as many found employment in various kinds of factories. Many of the neighborhoods where immigrants settled started to deteriorate and began to resemble the slums in Europe that they had left behind. These topics will be addressed further in a follow-on video. By the time World War I broke out, the peak years of immigration were over. During World War I, immigration came to a temporary halt in view of the dangerous ocean crossing during wartime. After World War I, immigration did continue, but on a much smaller scale, until Ellis Island was finally closed in 1954. Please watch our next video that will be released soon about the kinds of lives most immigrants lived after arriving in the USA.